Thank you, uh, Chairman Alexander. And just very briefly, I want to uh, thank Secretary Perry for your recent visit to New Mexico, including uh, Los Alamos and Sandia National Labs, and also the Waste Isolation Pilot Project uh, near Carlsbad, New Mexico. I think those visits raise the morale of the employees and also let employees know, as, as uh, Senator Feinstein said, what an important job they're doing at the National Labs. Uh, for decades now, the stockpile stewardship program at the National Labs has guaranteed the safety and reliability of the nation's nuclear arsenal without testing. Uh, has only improved with the advent of more sophisticated computing and other science-based methods. The U.S. and Russia continue to reduce the number of nuclear weapons as part of the new start, uh, while we also work to ensure our remaining deterrent is safe, secure, and effective. A mission charged to the DOE in which for over two decades, I believe you have met on time that yearly recommendation uh, to the President. Uh, you have many other important missions. I'm not going to go on long here, but I think technology transfer uh, is tremendously important uh, where you take those good ideas in the lab and move them from the lab bench out into the marketplace. And there are a number of other things that the two laboratories in New Mexico work on, cybersecurity, legacy waste cleanup, uh, and many other initiatives. But I really look forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Chairman Alexander. In uh, 2013, Los Alamos paused plutonium pit production following compliance and safety concerns. A recent report was published in the Washington Post detailing safety issues mm -hmm. which have been covered well by the Defense Nuclear Facilities Safety Board. Both Los Alamos National Lab and General Klotz have responded to these issues identifying the work they have done to correct the infractions. And I'd like to enter both the memo from Los Alamos and the statement from General Klotz in the record. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to enter, Mr. Chairman Alexander, I'd like to enter two, two statements in the record uh, from General Klotz and from Los Alamos on the issue of uh, uh, responding to safety issues. It will be done, Senator yeah. Udall. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, in your opinion, in the opinion of DOE, is Los Alamos making acceptable progress to fix all identified issues with its plutonium pit program? The, the, the short answer is yes, sir. Um, uh, if, I, if I can expand just a moment, it's made significant progress uh, with hiring new uh, criticality um, safety analysts uh, since that 2013 pause in operations. Uh, they're back. Uh, you know, operating at a um, an appropriate level, and um, we we have a we have a conscientious and a safety based uh, decision to to pause that back in uh, PF four back in in um, in 2013. And uh, anyway, the, the the reviews were done, um, the readiness assessments uh, were very deliberately and and appropriately. Um, accomplished and it's been safely brought back online um, and um, so I'm satisfied thank that uh, no thank you for that and that's consistent with both what the Los Alamos memo that I sir. put in and General Klotz memo the, that I put into the record is the Department of Energy still on schedule to meet the Department of Defense requirements for pit manufacturing Yes, sir. And, and the current contractor was penalized for safety problems with the contract. Uh, will be going out for re that contract will be going out for rebid soon. Will DOE commit to make safety improvements and accountability key parts of the rebid process at Los Alamos? Yes, sir. The, um, um, I think somewhere north of $80 million were, were withheld uh, from that contractor. And uh, in, in their in their fees, um, and uh, they didn't earn a uh, four-year contract extension either. So, uh, you know, from my perspective, there were some pretty good teeth in in, in this, and a clear message sent. Um, NNSA is is conducting uh, very thorough and transparent annual reviews now uh, to hold those M and O partners accountable. Um, so. And, and again, when safety of uh, the operations uh, at our labs 
it, the, I, I don't I don't think there is anything more important. Uh, yeah, th thank my, you, Secretary my perspective, Perry, sir. for that for that answer. An analysis of all, analysis of alternatives is currently ongoing for the plutonium mission at Los Alamos, and I understand this analysis is expected to be complete sometime this summer. Can you provide a more specific time estimate for completion, and will you assure us that the analysis will be objective and free from political interference? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, no. um, I, I think you need a little more than just a, a single word answer, though. I mean, the, uh, the analysis that's been done uh, is going to look at what is in the best interest of this country, what's this country's needs from the standpoint of uh, plutonium pit production, uh, what is the timeline of which we would be um, required if the DOD tasks us with that, and do we have the uh, appropriate facilities and, and the volume, if you will, to, to be able to handle that. Um, by this summer, which we're quickly approaching, we should have that uh, AOA uh, finalized and, and uh, you and the committee uh, will be notified appropriately. Yeah, and just, uh, I know my time's almost up here. The, the final question had to do with mocks and where the waste goes. And as you know, uh, there are very specific requirements in the law uh, as far as the waste isolation pilot project. So I hope that you will uh, work with us sure and work with the state of New Mexico to make sure that we have some agreement on that because yes, uh, that's an issue that's very important to New Mexico. With that, I would yield back. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Secretary.